नमस्कार मित्रों इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू बिल्ड ए रिमोट कंट्रोल बाइक यूजिंग एलमोनियम शेड्स एंड पी वी सी पाइप सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड I flattened the PVC pipes of different thickness and glued them together. Now we have sheets of 3 mm, 5 mm, 6 mm and 1 mm thickness. I already designed the bike in Fusion 360 and prepared the detailed drawings. Now let's paste those drawings onto the sheets and fabricate the parts by cutting and drilling them as per the design. All right guys the fabrication work is now complete and all the parts came out really well talking about the components i had almost everything needed for the build except for the bearings and a few small screws which i couldn't find in any local store so i ordered them from glc pcb about a week ago by the way glc is a well known manufacturer recognized for its services in prototyping and mass production they offer multi layer pcbs flex pcbs PCB assembly services and SMT stencils. Besides PCBs, they also provide 3D printing, CNC machining, and mechatronics part sourcing services. Their 3D printing service supports different technologies, materials, and surface finishes. They even offer metal 3D printing. In short, they provide almost everything you need to prototype a product. To order your mechatronics parts, visit glcmc.com, select your parts, and add them to your cart. You can either check out directly or combine this order with your PCB and 3D printing orders for convenience. As usual I received my order within a week along with PCBs for another project talking about the mechatronic parts I ordered 20 bearings and some screws and they were quite affordable so if you also need mechatronic parts for your project visit glcmc.com and don't forget to check the description for discount and coupons all right guys now that we have all the components here are the hardware parts and these are the electronics components now let's move on the assembly process
Before continuing the assembly process, let me give a shout out to LTM for sponsoring today's video. LTM Designer is a powerful and user-friendly software trusted by engineers and makers worldwide to create high-quality PCBs quickly and accurately. And with LTM 365, your entire team stays connected. It seamlessly brings together everyone from mechanical designer to manufacturing specialists on a single cloud platform, streamlining your electronics design journey from concept to production. If you are ready to take your electronics design skills to the next level, there's a special trial offer just for YouTube viewers. Click the link in the description and get started today. Now let's get back to the assembly process.
While designing the bike, I knew one side would be heavier than others, so I planned to place the battery on the lighter side to balance the center of gravity. Unfortunately, that did not work out, so I added a dead weight to achieve the perfect balance. Since I had no prior experience driving an RC bike, I also added these removable supporting wheels to help keep it stable during testing. Now let's power it up and see how it performs. On the first test, the speed was quite low, although we used a DYS 3548790kV motor, which is quite powerful, it didn't meet our speed expectations. So I swept it with a DYS 3536000kV motor and these are the improved results. Driving an RC bike is definitely not easy, even when using a ready-made model. I knew from the beginning it would be challenging, but I still give it a shot. Honestly, I am not fully satisfied with how it turned out, so I am already planning to build an RC bike with a gyro wheel for better stability next time. If you like this video, please show your support by giving it a thumbs up. And if you are interested in building your own or have ideas to improve it, all the resources are linked in the description. That's it for today guys, I'll see you in the next one.